Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Nick Shift, the next gen pit experiment piston cup racer number 93 from Cars 3. Before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let's start with the unboxing. Here we've got his artwork for Cars 3, the old Cars logo, the metal logo, the desert background, new 2021, his die cast sealed in, his name Nick Shift labeled, and the Mattel logo. And on the back we have, as seen in, the Cars 3 logo, and the cars featured on the back are Muddy Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen, or should I say, or should I just simply say Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen? Trainer Cruz Ramirez, who I don't have. Fusing Tractor, who I don't have. A Drummer Pity that I don't don't know. I'm not sure if it's Pam Wheeldero or somebody else. Tell me who it is in the comments down below. Cars 3 Murray Clutchburn, Jimmy Cables, who I don't have, and Hot Rod Louise Nash, who I don't have, 2020 Mattel, the RSN logo saying RSN, Racing Sports Network, Made in Thailand, Disney slash Pixar, Nash Ambassador, www.disney.com slash cars, and the Los Angeles International Speedway background. And that is it. And now without any further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. Now I'll be right back as soon as this has been unboxed. So here we have Nick Shift all opened up and out of the package. So, <clears throat> Nick Shift is a next-gen piston cup racer who currently bears the number 93 for experiment. During his appearance in Cars 3, during the 2016 piston cup season, he, when next-gen racer started dominating the piston cup circuit and drop, causing sponsors to drop out their old-time veteran racers, he replaced the previous Spearmint racer, Ernie Gearson. Now, please note that this Ernie Gearson is the Cars 1 version. The Ernie Gearson that I don't have is the Cars 3 version with the body mold similar to Cal Weathers. He would later go on to participate in the Florida 500 of the 2017 Piston Cup season at the Florida International Super Speedway and was able to finish the race. During his diecast releases, he was released only one time as a single and hasn't been re released ever since. So, I'm going to, since I have enough one time releases to fit all 13 episodes in a single season of one-time releases, I'm going to put him in the next season. My apologies for the, in for the inconvenience. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his grumpy facial expression, his Blue paint job, his black grill, working headlights, and on the hood we've got a new Spearmint logo, which says Spearmint, and in front of a snowflake, which I love snowflakes. Do you like snowflakes? Tell me what you tell me if in the comments down below. Anyhow, on both sides we've got the blue rims on the 
black wall next gen light year racing tires, the exhaust pipes, a black arrow at the bottom indicating a pity to lift them up, white number 93, a few contingency logos saying piston cup, combustor, carbon cyburn synergy, and a blue and white leaf in front of a snowflake, a gas cap, and on the top we've got a dark blue number 93 on the light blue background, no name signature, and the light blue spoiler. And on the back we've got the red work, working red taillights, light blue number 93, and the spearmint logo, and the orangish yellow rookie stripes indicating that he's a rookie. And on the undercarriage, it says, Made in Thailand, Disney slash Pixar, Mattel. And that is it. And now let's pull up some of the other Next Gen Racers that have his body mold. We have Harvey Rodcap, Aaron Clocker, Jim Raverick, Jonas Carverts, Tim Treadless, Spikey Phillips, Rich Mixon, Bubba Wheelhouse, Ryan Inside Laney, and Chase Racelot, and the other Spearmint Racer, Ernie Gearson, alias Cars 1, Ernie Gearson. So, hopefully I'll get the Cars 3 Ernie Gearson with Cal Weathers somewhere in the future. But what do you guys think? Which next-gen racer sharing his body mold is your favorite? Which spearmint racer is your favorite? Is it Ernie Gearson or Nick Shift? Let me know what you think as well as leaving... Let me know what you... And which... And which... And let, me, let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And, and keep on praying for Spectrum to bring the Disney Networks back to our TVs with Spectrum itself. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next episode of Season 2 of One Time Releases. Goodbye now!